episode. How do you do, Winter Mamas? Welcome. So today, what have I been doing? Nothing. I've been writing on my blog. I'm writing about the show I saw last Thursday. Love songs, which I loved. And then I started writing about it. And I sort of like, hmm, this I did not really like. There, there's one scene where a woman uh, gives oral sex. Oral, oral sex? Yep, she performs oral sex on a man. And they sort of, she, she doesn't want to do it, but she does it because it's the easiest way out. And I think it's quite dangerous and quite tasteless to sort of introduce something like that and then don't really sort of, I don't know, do something about it. Because that, that felt really sort of tasteless. It's like, because the man, the setup is that the man is really in love with her and he thinks that she's the love of his life and she thinks it's, oh, this is so embarrassing. And I understand these things happen, but I think it's quite dangerous in the political climate that we have right now that they do something like that and then sort of, it's like something from 10 years ago or something. Now they should have sort of had they should have said something about it. They can't just introduce, introduce something like that. Because what, what are they saying? That sort of, sometimes women do this and it's okay. And the man, it's, it's, I don't know. It's not responsible to do, to do that on a stage because at least the audience was sort of, well, she didn't want to do it, but she did it anyway. So is this rape or is it not rape? What is, what, what, what are they telling us? So anyway, I am going to see a show tonight. I'm not really in the mood, but I will be. So I'm going to go to a place called Ö 2, Östergatan 2. That's the name of the street. Uh, and uh, Östergatan 2, not Östergatan 2. Östergatan 2 is the proper word for it, if I'm being international. Anyway, it's they they are showing us uh, it's the opening night of Lars Norén, which is sort of a, a, the Swedish equivalent of Edward Albee or, or, you know, one of those, yeah, Edward Albee or O'Neill, but not as talented, my opinion. And I'm not really in the mood for, I feel that he's sort of, he's grown up in a sort of very privileged world. And when he sort of, when he was writing all those sort of f comedies with people being sort of just disgusting to each other, that was when we were sort of living in a bubble in Sweden. We sort of like, oh, no racism, no homophobia, no blah, blah, blah. Or we didn't, they wasn't, we didn't, we didn't, talk about things like that so we sort of everything was nice and sort of then we saw these horrible plays about people being nasty to each other um often upper crust people so i'm gonna go there there so soon i will be switching account to my other account and some of you might remember that the last time I tried to switch account, I wasn't that successful. You got a lot of Swedish here. Some people were sort of like, could you please stop speaking Swedish? I don't understand a word. So that's what's going to happen. So now I'm going to go out over to the other account and sort of just... I had, I couldn't read read a lot about the actors or a lot about uh, on the homepage. So I'm going to sort of read up a little bit about on Lars Norén, the writer. People of the interwebs, I am now getting ready for some drama. I'm going to get on my bike. It's still, well, there's dusk. It's almost six o'clock. So summer is getting near. What else? I might buy some candy. Yeah, I think I'm worth it. If you do something you really don't want to do, well, you do want to do it because you do it, but, but you don't do it enthusiastically, then you deserve some candy. Now I will go over here. Totally forgot. Over here, over here, over here.
gammal kompis Erik från förr som har gjort ljuset till den här föreställningen. some interesting movements on stage good clothes nice set design but I mean the play is sort of I do not like shows where I don't understand why the actors well no why the the roles do what they do was sort of I do not appreciate sort of people being mad because it comp- contributes to nothing So, um, some very good scenes, some very good acting, not very good play. So, hello people, I am back, back, B-E-C-K, no I'm back. Uh, Well, that was a night at the theatre, I wasn't really that impressed, I was impressed by the actors, uh, some of the staging. But I do not know why you, in these day and age, why you would do a Sondheim. No, sorry, <laughs> Sondheim. I've been listening to Sondheim, that's why. Why you would do a show by Lars Norén, especially one of those sort of where everybody sort of always screams dirty words and sort of, it's, it feels really old fashioned. Like, sort of like, someone says cunt and everyone goes, oh, my God, this is funny. This is interesting. I used to have a friend. Well, we are still friends, but we don't hang anymore. And that friend, she loved, she said she would love to play in a Lars Norian play because she would like to be and just spew sort of profanities, I guess. And to me, it's kind of... If I really can't relate to a person or understand, and then I'm not interested. It's like, like the people on stage down, they did atrocious, especially the woman, the older woman. Like, she did atrocious things, and so they were sort of forgiving to her, and it's sort of the, I do not forgive that kind of behaviour. So that made the other persons who forgave her stupid like what because if there's nothing about a character that you like the people who like that character seem stupid 